Hello there, as mentioned in the previous video, we're now going to go through adding suppliers onto Sage Business Cloud Accounting. It's very simple, very straightforward. We go to contacts and we have suppliers here. It's not under purchases, it's under contacts. Click on suppliers. We have the supplier list appear. Looks very similar to every other list that's appeared on Sage Business Cloud Accounting. Any suppliers that are on the software will appear on this list. If we want to edit them, we just click on them, just like we've done in previous videos. To add a new supplier, once again, we just do what has been done in previous videos. We use this blue box to the right here. Click on new supplier and fill in the supplier details. So let's call this supplier um, financial services limited contact name uh, Pedro uh, let's make something up their reference for you email contact just like I've done in previous videos I'm just making all this up obviously you need to enter the correct details in there the supplier address the default code this is financial services limited so the expense code and let's just have a look through here um, book this to um, consultancy and professional fees now these account defaults these are what will appear when we record an invoice for them you can change it when doing the invoice but it just saves time if it appears automatically and I've been through that in previous videos now these accounts are what the transactions being booked to so if a invoice is going to be for insurance then it needs booking to an, uh, uh, an insurance expense code if an invoice is for accounting services it needs booking to an, for an accounting services code if it was fuel for your business van it needs booking, booking to some sort of traveling expenses code it's all to do with accurate accounting VAT number you can enter their VAT number there payment details so this will be your credit limit with them and their credit payment terms their bank details now this is more important than the um, customer payment details because you're actually going to need these details to make payment to when paying your invoices so we can enter all the information in here making anything up okay so I'm going to let me do that because it has to be the right amount of characters that's done. We can add some notes about the supplier here if we want to do that. And we just click save and the supplier is added. So this is our supplier. If we click on the supplier. We can edit any information just like we did with the customer list and customers by using these tabs here and then using the pencils. Just like I've said in other videos, just play around with it. You know, open a free trial account for 30 days with Sage, give it a go, um, add your suppliers, add your customers, you're not going to break the software, you know, just get used to it, the more you practice, the more you can understand what's going on. So that's how you add and edit supplier accounts, I don't feel the need to add more than one, if you would like to go through the process again, obviously just rewatch this video, but all we're doing is clicking on new supplier and then filling in the details.